Six Weather is brought to you by Aztec Chevrolet in Beeville. Visit AztecAutoplex.com. Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Here is your Aztec Chevrolet forecast, and it's a wet one. Here is the uh, rain today, 2.08 inches officially out at the airport. We've had nearly six inches of rain for the month of September, putting us almost four inches above normal and five inches above normal for the year. But uh, Mr. Garza, the Gallagher and Staples tops everybody with uh, over four inches of rain today and 11.1 since Monday. But that takes us above normal for the entire month, and we still have a long way to go. We're not even halfway there yet. So here's the way it looked. Not so much inland. Beeville only had a hundredth of an inch. Robstown, 24 hundredths. But the, the distance between the airport and Robstown isn't very far, but it was about uh, a thousand percent more rain there. 2.84 along the coast. 1.85 as you get up to Rockport and Port Aransas and the ground is saturated as you saw earlier and that's why we have a flash flood watch in effect until Friday evening, not tomorrow evening, but Friday evening for the entire coastal bend with the exception of our inland counties where we've seen less rain. All right, that's because the focusing mechanism has been closer to the coast. The rain that we had this morning quickly has moved off to the north and east. We now have additional activity developing south and west, but it's quiet now for most of the area and will stay that way until at least midnight with the exception of southern Jim Wells and Duval counties around Falfurius and west of Concepcion there as the frontal system is still in play along the coast and focusing the moisture as little pockets of instability roll through in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere that touches off the showers and thunder showers which will once again reform late tonight near the coast and early tomorrow morning. So that's the culprit right there and then we're going to add in a load of tropical moisture from Invest 95L which essentially didn't become a lot better organized today. It continues to work off to the west northwest. The whole focus of this is a little more west than it was yesterday. That's one of the uh, only meaningful changes. Moving west northwest at nine, maintaining that forward speed that puts us along the coast about this time on Friday and the winds are just 30 miles an hour. So the primary feature with this is going to be heavy rain as it tracks off to the uh, west northwest and northwest. The focus of the likely channel of where it's going to go will be between Corpus Christi and Brownsville, but it's not a point on the map because this does not have a closed circulation. And at the worst case scenario, this would be a minimal tropical storm as it appears now. So here's what we're looking at on the guidance. Remember yesterday, most of it was up in this area, which is tropical storm status. Now most of the guidance is keeping it down uh, below 35 knots, which would be a tropical depression uh, at, the, at the worst case scenario. But again, it could be a minimal tropical storm at landfall on Friday, but it's not going to be too big of a deal. The only thing it has working for it is, is that it's in wind shear now, but by the time it gets to Friday, right before landfall, it does have uh, an area where it's more favorable for development. So it could pick up a little bit coming in. So here is what's changed. It's moving more west and northwest, less strength at the coast than we were thinking yesterday, according to the Hurricane Center. More heavy rainfall, four to six inches on average can be expected. And what we don't know about this is whether it'll be a tropical depression or a weak storm. So here's your NEC co-op energy seven day forecast 75 tonight 87 tomorrow I think a little less rain tomorrow than we had today then it really ramps up on Friday winds down Saturday afternoon after raining Saturday morning and then isolated showers after that so you know what's going to happen it's going to dry out it's going to heat up and boy the mosquitoes oh, are going to have a field day till Christmas all right thanks a lot Dale <laughs> really thanks <laughs>